Hey everyone, it's Alyssa here with Darn Good Yarn, and today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about our reclaimed silk yarns. Many of Darn Good Yarn's yarns are actually made from reclaimed silk fibers. This means that we are giving new life to existing silk fibers rather than harvesting new fibers directly. Reclaimed silk can be sourced from a few different places. One of the places we source our reclaimed silk from is silk manufacturers. We use the last little scrappy bits of the silk cocoons that are not high enough quality to be made into real or spun silk yarns. Another place we source our reclaimed silk from is used saris or other apparel items. So we collect old discarded saris and other apparel items and stop them from going into landfills. Instead, we use the fibers and fabrics to create new items. The silk industry in India is extensive. India is one of the largest producers of silk in the world. Silk is an incredible fiber for so many reasons. First of all, it's natural. That means it can decompose. Second, it's also temperature regulating, so it can help you stay hot in cool climates and cool in hot climates. Saving silks and silk blends from landfills is an important part of our mission. The fast fashion industry is one of the highest polluting industries today. The environment and employees are exploited in order to produce cheap, fast, trendy clothing en masse. Using materials that already exist reduces the environmental impact of acquiring new clothes or craft supplies. Using fair labor practices ensures that people's hard work is aptly compensated. It also sends the message that manufacturing positions are skilled jobs and workers deserve fair and dignified pay. Let's talk about a few of our yarns specifically. I'll start with our ribbon yarns. Sari Silk Ribbon Yarns are one of our favorites. The fact that they're made from reclaimed materials is really visible in this yarn, which we think is very cool. Reclaimed saris or sari scraps are gathered and sorted into color groupings. Then artisans work by hand to tear apart strips of that fabric and then sew them together lengthwise to create wonderful lengths of ribbon yarn. Finally, depending on the style of ribbon, a few finishing touches are added, such as dyeing or finishing the ends or edges of the ribbon. If the ribbon is block printed, the block printing is done to the fabric prior to being torn into strips. When that's all done, the skeins are labeled and we can start sending the ribbon to crafters all over the world. Silk roving yarns are created by using the scrappy bits of silk cocoons that aren't high enough quality to be made into reeled or spun silk. These fibers are combed together into roving and then spun into the desired thickness. Single ply yarns then move into the dyeing process. Different dyeing techniques are used for different yarns. A solid color yarn might be dyed in a large vat, whereas a variegated or rainbow kind of yarn is dyed by artisans using precision applicator tools. Then the hanks of yarn are dried outside in the Indian sunlight. Finally, skeins are applied where applicable, labels are added, and we can start sending them to dedicated crafters all over the world. Darn Good Yarn is not a traditional craft supply store. We scour the world to find the most fun and quirkiest yarns and bring them to crafters like you. We're also passionate about providing a better quality of life to the dedicated artisans who help to fill our world with color. When you purchase craft supplies from Darn Good Yarn, you can feel good about the impact you're having on the world. If you're as passionate as we are about creating a better future, try out some of our quirky and exciting supplies exclusively at darngoodyarn.com.